my card earlier was saying that it was full, even though it wasn't. My SD card is full, but it wasn't. So I think the camera's full of shit. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so today we'll be working with the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette. This is dearly loved, as you can tell. Just wait. Just wait. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I almost dropped it. But yeah. I have freaking loved this palette. It's so, so good. So since the names are like wearing off on this, I'm just going to show you what colors I use and I'll put like an annotation or something of the color. So I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This is my favorite. This is the uh, Sigma E40 tapered blending brush. And I'm going to be taking this kind of neutral brown right here on the edge. And we're going to be putting this into the crease all the way in, all the way out. These eyeshadows are really, really pigmented. I just did the other eye, so yeah. But just keep blending that back and forth, back and forth to get a smooth transition. This is going to be decently dark just because we are going in with a black glitter. Okay, so now we're going in with a fluffy brush that's just a little bit smaller. This is the Morphe, uh, Morphe M433. It's very popular. And I'm going to be taking this dark brown shade right beside the black right here and just go into that. Now where we place that shadow, we are just going to bring it right below. And this is going to be just a little bit more controlled. Don't worry if it drops down onto the lid. That's all right. We'll be covering that down there with black here in a minute. So just work that in inner to outer corner. We want it just a little bit darker on the outer corner. So just work that in right below that brown. Don't worry about it dropping onto the lid. We'll be covering that with black here in a minute. Do, 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 do. Make sure you get that really, really blended. Nice and blended. We want this to all be smooth because the glitter is going to be just a little bit difficult um, just because it is chunky and you know it's, it's glitter. It's a loose glitter. Now if you have to, you can go back in with the same brush which is whatever's left over on the first uh, eyeshadow we put down. Just kind of blend that in with it. Just a quick blend. Just to make sure everything's nice and smooth. So now I'm just going to go in with the Elf Flat Shader Brush. And I'm going to go into the black shade right here. Now we're going to be taking this color and just placing this everywhere on the bottom portion of the lid. Right underneath the dark brown. We're still putting quite a bit of color into the um, inner corner. But we're not going to go as heavy as we are kind of the outer corner. But we are still bringing it in quite deep. Now go back to the last shade and just pick up a little bit more color of that medium, or not the medium, but the dark brown, and just take it right above that black so we don't get any edges. Just to make sure everything's nice and blended. A windshield wiper motion, small circular motions, however you like to blend. Just make sure you blend. Now once that's blended, I'm gonna take my large fluff E50 Sigma brush and I'm going to go in with the white right here, what little I have left, and put that right on the brow bone. Now you can just go back in with the first blending brush and just lightly just blend everything once again. Now it's time for the glitter. All right, so one of my favorite products I've been using for a couple months now is the Too Faced Glitter Glue. This stuff is so, so awesome. Even though we applied a powder right after our primer, um, you can put this over top. It's so, so good. I love this, you guys. So I'm just going to put just a little bit in the back of my hand. That's probably a little bit too much, but whatever. That way you guys can see the product. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking this crown brush. This is the C224 Oval Concealer. It's a synthetic brush, so it'll clean really good after using glitter. And I'm just going to pick up. You just need a very small amount of this stuff, you guys. Like, seriously. Kind of dragging it down so I don't get as much. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on just the lid. I'm starting in the center and I'm going to work my way to inner and outer corner. Going a little bit lighter on the inner corner. If you have to, you can pick up just a little bit more just to kind of, kind of dab in certain places on your eye. Got a little mirror right here, guys. Then when you get to the very top of your lid, just very lightly go up because we don't want this glitter in the crease, but we want just a little bit of a gradient kind of. 
Somebody's calling the house and I'm not answering it. Plum glitter, y'all. So now for the start of the show, I'm gonna dip my brush straight into this. Then tap off the excess. Then we are going to apply. Starting right at the center again, then working my way inner to outer, however you want to do it. Sorry, got the mirror all up in my grill. Just start to apply it. Going to go a little bit lighter in that inner corner. We don't want too much there, you guys. And then just a little bit too in the outer corner. We want the focus mainly to be the lid, but more of the center because that's what I like. Just kind of dab it, dab it around, you know, dab. Because that's a cool thing to do now, you know. I love it so, so much. Okay, now let's move on to eyeliner. So now I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and I'm going to do a wing. So now I'm taking my liner and I always like to start on the outer corner. I just do. It's really fun to me. I like getting that wing, you know. Just bring it back down onto itself. Fill it in and then we're going to just do a tiny thin line for the rest of the eye. You may have a little bit of glitter still peeking through. Just try to go over it the best you can. If not, who cares? As long as we get that nice wing, you know? Stuff is just so easy to apply. I would totally recommend this liner for beginners. I, I really do like it. And it's a, quite, it's a quite decent liner as far as longevity. I would probably give it like a B plus or like an A minus as far as longevity goes. Because on me where I got fitted eyes, it likes to always transfer like in the inner corner. After after a little while, like it's not like instant or anything. After a couple hours, and especially if it's like humid. I have really watery eyes too, so that probably doesn't help. Now I'm just going to take a makeup wipe to clean up this fallout underneath my eye because that glitter gets a little wild. So I just kind of like wrap my finger around it and just wipe it under here. And you get that edge really sharp because of your finger, especially if you got nails on like me. So just wipe all that away. Look at that, look at that wrist. Woo! Okay, I kind of forgot a step, but that's okay. We'll, we'll put it in right now. This is the Morphe M149. It's like a small pencil brush. And I'm going to go in with this color right here. This is Max Nylon. It is like one of my freaking favorites. And all, and all we're going to do is just put this right in the inner corner. It's going to bring some really pretty light. As if we didn't have enough right here, we're going to add just a little bit more. But I, I just really, really like it. It's just... Nice. So if you go a little crazy with the highlight like I did just a little bit, just take your dark brown brush shadow that was already on it and just kind of blend that. Kind of just blend it away. It'll it'll disappear eventually. So now I'm going to apply some lashes. These are the Kiss number 11s with the, where's it at? House of Lash Glue, which has been my favorite. Oh my god, I freaking love it anymore. I like switch sometimes between the duo and this. The last time I switched to the House of Lashes from the duo and I was like... Phew. Never again, I'm staying with this one. So I'm just like applying it on my lashes. I need a new one of these actually because it's starting to get real nasty. Cause I am nasty. We're just gonna pop them on like that. I always like to like push them up just a little bit. So now I'm just taking a black liner. You can use anything. I don't even know what this is from. Just take a black eyeliner and I wanna run this in my upper waterline and lower waterline. Gently pulling on the eye. Some people don't even have to do this, but you know. We're going to lightly bring this onto the lower lash line just a little bit. It may already be kind of getting on the lash line. We're going to smoke that out. So now I'm just going to be taking this really, really small Morphe. Um, I believe it's a 212. Yeah. And just smoke this out. Nothing on the brush. Just try to blend that out. So now with the same brush, I'm just going to go in with that first brown that we lay down on the eyes. This one right here. It's like a, it's just a light brown. And then we're going to smoke this out just a little bit more. Right underneath that black. Just 
can always go back in with just a little bit more. So not a huge difference, but it does look really, really good in person, I think. Then I actually forgot I had lashes. <laughs> I want to be using my uh, Maybelline Voluminous in black um, on the top and bottom lashes. You're supposed to put this on before you do lashes, but that's okay. It's a big of a deal. Just put just a little bit on because the lashes is what's going to make your eyes kind of do the job anyway. Do the, you know, do the swag. And then don't forget to put this on the lower lash line as well. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this. I really do appreciate it. I know I've been off YouTube for a while, but I, I keep coming back. I love this place and I love you guys so, so much. Make sure to follow me on social media if you haven't already. At Intercom UA, you can find me literally anywhere. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I've been a crazy obsessed with Snapchat lately. Oh my gosh, you guys need to go add me. I'm crazy. Um, but you guys will get to know me a little bit better if you add me on Snapchat, seriously. But um, yeah. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and give me a big thumbs up. Let me know what you guys want to see next and I'll see you guys back next time.